75 years old and not a bit quieter. The Mercedes-Benz Silver Arrows have gathered together at the Nürburgring, a track rich in tradition. The unmuffled engine sounds remain a piece of racing history. And presenter Kilian Reichert meets the racing legend and Silver Arrow driver Hans Hermann. Hans Hermann, what's it like to drive a car like this? Then as now, do you have to be really fit? Is it very strenuous? As a driver, what do you have to look out for? These vehicles were really manual to operate and required real physical strength. I recall a Formula One race in Argentina where the heat was so intense that we were provided shoe soles covered with asbestos so they couldn't get too hot. At that time Fangio even had burns on his legs and after the race he was taken to the hospital, but he won. Back then you drove your Silver Arrow over the legendary Nordschleife. Even today this racetrack is still very dangerous and extremely difficult even for modern cars. What was it like to drive on the Nordschleife? The situation was like this. Regardless of the make, if you had a vehicle which proved to be outstanding on the Nürburgring, then this vehicle could go anywhere in the world on any racetrack. With the unbelievable curves and the ups and downs, with this you got a basic setup, so that both vehicle and driver alike were equally challenged. Kilian Reichert, together with Michael Bock, head of the Mercedes-Benz Museum, dives into the history of the race cars of old. We're standing next to a Silver Arrow from 1934. For its age, it has unbelievable performance. So what does this car mean for racing, especially back in those days? At that time, it was a revolution. Such vehicles exude fascination with their performance, the performance which they had back in their day and still have today. When you think that this car can drive almost 300 kilometers per hour, that's really amazing. Those famous victories that were won, that is what makes Mercedes-Benz as a brand. The warmer, for the visitors an unforgettable experience, optically and acoustically. We're now standing in the middle of the Silver Arrows. Four cars are here. Now, as a rough estimate, how much are these cars worth? Well, you can't think of it like that. There are collectors who would buy such a vehicle. These sums are then paid out of pure emotion, according to the size of the wallet. So in a sense, it's unreal. These, of course, would be very large sums of money because these vehicles have no price. Therefore, it always depends on the situation. But this would never happen because the Silver Arrows are not for sale. No car has ever been sold or ever will be. Good to know, because even if the thundering of the Silver Arrows at the Nürburgring is a memory, their legend still lives on.